the next state management library I want to talk about isn't so much a self-contained state management library as it is a way to model transitions between your states so that they're easier to reason about. The library is called XState and it's created by David K. Piano who wanted to take the idea of state machines and modeling your state as state machines to the extreme where you're actually building your state as state machines, which is just a brilliant idea. So the way his library works is that you're creating state machines using these configuration objects where you say, this is my initial state, these are all my available states, and on these various actions, which represent arrows between states, I want to transition to another state. And the beauty of this approach is that it really does work just like finite state machines from computer science. There's no values because your states are your values. It makes it easier to reason about your state machines once they're built, but it kind of also makes it harder to come up with them. Theoretically, state machines aren't as powerful as Turing machines, and what you're used to programming are Turing machines. That kind of takes a leap of imagination to be able to think of your programs in a new way. I mean, the cool thing about the about X states approach is that you're essentially building generic state machine executors and then building your actual program, your business logic, in the configuration objects for your machines. This means that you're essentially building very generic programs that can do a lot of different things, but you will eventually have to test your business logic as well because it's, because it's very easy to write a configuration object that is just wrong. Then again, you can see a picture of it and that really helps. Here's what xState looks like in code. We have the same app as before, back, next, play, and so on. We're rendering xState app, which comes in two files. One is the renderer stuff and connecting it to the state machine, and the other is the state machine itself. We define the state machine as a machine, which comes from xState, that's what it exports. And we pass in an object that s specifies it as a parallel machine, which means we can be in multiple states at the same time we have the playing state and the index state the playing state is a self-contained state machine that toggles between playing and not playing